The Russians offered help, which we know they did. The campaign accepted help, which we know they did. Uh, the Russians then delivered help, which we know they did. There is circumstantial evidence of collusion. Did. There is circumstantial evidence of collusion. Hello, everybody. Welcome back. Simple Sun here. Um, kind of got a damning report uh, claiming that the Barack Obama uh, administration actually did use RCIA to spy on Donald Trump and his campaign. Um, we have a clip from Fox News explaining everything, and we're going to come back. I'm going to check that out. I'll see you after that. The 2016 Russia collusion hoax by asking foreign intelligence agencies to illegally spy on the mm. Trump campaign. Lucas Tomlinson in Washington with more. Lucas. Good early morning, Carly and Todd. This report from Substack citing multiple unnamed sources claims the U.S. intelligence community asked foreign spy agencies to help spy on more than two dozen associates of Donald Trump in the run up to the 2016 election. It reads in part, quote, President Barack Obama's CIA director, John Brennan, had identified 26 Trump associates for the Five Eyes to target. A source confirmed that the IC had identified them as people to bump or make contact with or manipulate. They were targets of our own IC and law enforcement, targets for collection and misinformation. Now, the Five Eyes nations are the U.S., U.K., Canada, Australia, and New Zealand. Here's one of the reporters, Michael Schellenberger, who spoke to Jesse Waters last night. If this binder contains what we have been told that it contains, which may include raw intelligence, information showing that the U.S. government, the CIA and the intelligence community of the U.S. government, initiated the Russia collusion hoax, that it did not occur in the way that the official story, including the Durham investigation, had portrayed it, then that's extremely serious information. The report was released at the same time House conservatives are preparing a bill that would reauthorize Section 702 of the Foreign Intelligence Surveillance Act that allows the government to collect communications from foreigners abroad. And today, the House Rules Committee is set to meet over that Pfizer reform bill, guys. Lucas Tomlinson, quite a bombshell. Thank you, sir. See, now that just shows you, right? If this is true, Donald Trump wasn't crazy the whole entire time. He was actually being honest. You know, I don't honestly, I, I never put it past it anyway, because Barack Obama, Hillary Clinton, those types of people, you know, they're they're the naysayers when it comes to you. But for them, it's OK. So even if you caught them red handed, they would they would obfuscate and say that, oh, you, they were allowed to do this, that this was this was normal interactions with the federal government using our CIA to basically spy on their political opponents. So is that okay? Should should Donald Trump done that? It, I mean, couldn't you say that that was kind of a secret insurrection on them? They were trying to subvert the election using our tax dollars to do it. The CIA, at the end of the day, is our people. So they're using our people for their political ends. And then they got foreign allies on top of that helping them out doing the spying for them and honestly as as a regular american citizen shouldn't you be scared i'm afraid i'm petrified if they can do this to a, a rich white guy from new york who's uh, running for president of the united states they can do that to you me or anybody else there is no stopping these people when people say that the left is dangerous and that they do things that basically subvert power back to themselves nobody's lying that's an honest truthful statement donald trump was a victim he's literally a victim of these people they tried to say that january 6th which was a riot which should have never happened it wasn't an insurrection as people thought it was it was the worst insurrection in world history if that was really an insurrection it was horrible so for these people then to turn around and wag their finger about that, something that was uncontrollable, he didn't pr he didn't promote this to happen, then to turn around to find out that in 2016 they were using our tax dollars, a a.k.a. the CIA, and I'm pretty sure the FBI, to spy on one of their political opponents for their own political ends. That's 
that should truly if, if that's true they need to be held account they need to be held account to to the letter of the law like they're trying to hold that to donald trump the the left has this wild notion that anything they do is justified because they believe that might makes right or at least might makes they believe that anything that they do is okay because they view it through their moral lens, not realizing that every person everywhere at all times has their own moral lens that they see things through. We should not allow that. These are the types of people that we're letting in and voting in. Um, hopefully it doesn't happen this year. Hopefully, hope I'm praying to God that Joe Biden gets defeated. Uh, hopefully they don't try to rig anything. Hopefully they don't, uh, you know, pray to God that nothing happens to Donald Trump before this. Um, we need some normalcy brought back. We need we need a better America. We need to make America great again. Um, if you enjoy this content, hit the like, subscribe, give me a thumbs up, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.